Hey everybody, Bill and Deb. Hi. <sighs> well, we're going to talk about the campground that we spent the last two and a half months at. We have thoroughly enjoyed this campground. I don't want to go. I'm sorry, you have to. We have things to do. Places to go, people to see. But I don't want to go. <laughs> I want to stay right here. Uh, I like it here. <laughs> well. Well what? We still have to go. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what we're talking about is um, the campground that's in North Central Florida. We've been here for the last two and a half months or so, I would say. Yes. In, um, and it's within a quarter mile of Itchituckney State Park, the north entrance of Itchituckney State Park, I should say. Okay. And the name of this particular campground, and it is a family-owned private campground, is Itchituckney Family Canoe and Cabins. Right. Itchituckney Family Canoe and Cabins. And then the correct address is uh, Fort White, Florida. A gorgeous little campground and uh, in case you missed our live stream that when we went live March the 7th, yes, right? Mm -hmm. We announced that this is where we are going to hold our Tiny House Adventures Rendezvous <laughs> which will be held next February in 2022. Right. February 21st through the 28th. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah. But anyway, we thought we'd tell you a bunch about this campground. Now, it's uh, like we said, it's a family-owned private campground. Uh, they do have cabins here, and we'll talk about those here in a few minutes. Uh, they surround the perimeter of the campground. And then in the center, they have like 18 sites that have full hookups. And when I say full hookups, I mean full hookups. 30 amp service, water, and sewer at these sites. Yes. All of them are nice and large and flat. They're, it's real easy to pull into them. And I, a lot of the middle <coughs> ones are actually pull through. Oh yeah, you can actually, you can, you can enter them from either direction, whichever works out best for you uh, and, as far as that goes. Right. And then they have another section that I like to refer to as the North 40. And those are uh, set aside for uh, us primitive sites if you're fully self-contained. And they're smaller sites, so the you know something like a small square drop uh, or Vans. a conversion van, something like that, and tents, tents would fit just perfectly in there. <laughs> the people that run it are the owners. People that run it, it's they are very, very, very kind and friendly and easy to get along yeah. with. And they're cargo conversion friendly as well. Yes. And schoolie friendly. Yes. Conversion van friendly, you know that kind of thing as well. So. Uh, we uh, we have, they have a few basic rules, but yeah. nothing major. I yeah. mean, quiet time. Well, sure. That, it's as any common campground. sense. Stuff. Common sense. Stuff. Yeah, common sense. Stuff. Uh, <coughs> keep your pets on a leash. You know, uh, they love, love pets, but yep. they want you to keep them on a leash. That's which right. Here again, that's common sense stuff. Absolutely. You don't, don't want your critter, your your pet, to get away from you. So. Um, that's it. Why don't we yeah. take a tour right quick? Uh, sounds great. Y'all ready to take a tour? Let's go take a tour right quick. Here we go. All right, of course, this is where you enter, and that is the little convenience store slash office there at the beginning, and that's also where they keep all the kayaks and canoes because they do offer float trips from this campground. And uh, as you pull in right here, uh, you can see uh, you've got uh, a few campsites immediately to your right. Where most of the campsites are are to your left. They have two center sections that have campsites running up and down them. And then, of course, there is the bathhouse, and it's a pretty nice bathhouse as well, Very isn't nice. it? Very yeah. nice. It's got men's and women's, and, of course, showers and toilets. And in the back side of it, it has a coin washer and dryer. Yeah, yeah. they got one coin washer and, and dryer. And there's the little, some of the little cabins. Uh-huh. You can see the cabins there to your right, and I believe they have about 12 or 13 of those. Is that I correct? I believe that's right. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, like we've tried to point out in the past, is it's kind of like camping in the woods. There's no specific... Uh, poured pads or anything like that you kind of pull into this area and straight down and that road is what we call the north 40 that's yeah. the primitive camping straight down that road then here in a little bit we'll be driving through that area here in just a little bit but let's swing on around the corner here and uh, we'll see uh, the other section now there's a tent right there at the beginning but that's also that also has hookups for a regular rv as well right there and uh and there you see the bathhouse again, all up there in the distance a little bit. And you see the campsites on both sides. The bathhouse is very centrally located. Yes, it is. So that you could walk to it. If, if you, 
you know, if you wanted to use their facilities instead of your own, you could certainly walk there yeah. and, and use their amenities. Of course, you can see where we were parked there on the yeah. right hand side. Yeah. <laughs> and we really enjoyed that spot. In fact, we have it reserved again for the rendezvous, that same spot. Mm -hmm. So it's really easy to see, you know, and you can see folks are, you know, they pulled in whichever way was most convenient for them. All of these sites are easily accessible. And that little Volkswagen thing you see right there, and that's what they used to call them, the Volkswagen thing. I visited with that gentleman right there. He just waved at me. Did you see that? I saw yeah. that. But uh, he was telling me about that car. He actually built that car out of two separate cars. One had a nice front end, and the other one had a, a, the rear section of the car was in good shape. So he cut them in half and made one out of two, two pieces there. Now, my, the cabins have two beds. They have an air conditioner and a little electric heater and I guess they even have a plug-in inside. Uh -huh. um, you, They do have sheets but you would want to bring your own blankets and pillows and of course you want towels if you're going to use the bathhouse. So basically just bring everything that you would do if you were going tent camping. Yeah and uh, when I did visit with them more and I did go in and uh, take a short some short videos of one of the cabins which we'll be showing here in a little bit but when I uh, did ask them about the cabins, it turns out that a few of them have bunk beds in them. So if you call in wanting to reserve a cabin, you need to be sure and ask, uh, you know, what kind of beds they have in that particular cabin that's available. And then, of course, uh, there is the little pavilion right there, which we have the pavilion reserved for February the 26th. And who knows, we'll have potluck maybe or we'll... Uh, play a little music there's all kinds of things that we might be doing that there so now let's take a cruise on down through what we like to call the North 40 and I would say you could easily fit 20 different small campers in there and or tents you I know don't remember in that how many area. Sites she said was yeah. down here but it's quite a bit it goes back yeah. I believe it's four acres yeah back in it goes here. back quite a ways and every one of the sites have a fire pit a charcoal grill and a picnic table every one of them uh, whether it be the rv sites or this area we refer to as the north 40. but what is so cool about this like i like i've been saying it's you feel like you're just kind of camping in the woods it's almost uh, like dispersed camping you know it's pretty cool and um, the atmosphere is just really really nice there and uh, when you wake up early in the morning you hear all the birds singing and everything and it's just uh We've all we, I can say really is I have it. really enjoyed my stay here, you know, or, or our stay. I've had, you know, I've enjoyed my stay with you too, dear. Well, that's good. Yes, yeah. you know, I'm kind of yeah. stuck with you. Well, oh, <laughs> or, really? Or maybe you're, you're stuck with me. You're. <laughs> and there's a neighborhood behind it, but it, you know, you don't yeah. even know they're there really. In fact, one of the ladies that live in that neighborhood, she likes to come cruising through the the campground. And we got to know know her. She's a really sweet lady, but she likes to cruise through there in her golf cart now and then. She runs yeah. down to the store for something. Yeah. And, and the little store has the necessity, you know, a few yeah. of the things you might have forgotten. Yeah. Um, they, they have beer and different little food they items. They have beer? Yes, they do. Well, I didn't know they had beer. Well, yeah. Well, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> they do but anyway uh but it's a really neat campground we like i cannot say this enough we have so much enjoyed our what we like here. about this is go ahead very centrally located it's you've got so many things for day trips yeah from this campground right we run over to gainesville i mean there's lake city there's gainesville um within an hour and a half to Gainesville, two hours over to uh, St. Augustine, Saint Augustine mm -hmm. to about less than two hours to Cedar Key, which is on the opposite side. Yeah, on the Gulf Coast. On the on Gulf the, Coast. On the Gulf side. Mm -hmm. um, lots and lots of springs. I did not realize that this area had so many springs that basically just bubble up out of the ground. Yeah at 72 degrees. Did you mention Silver Springs? No. I meant okay, we're only like an hour and a half away from Silver Springs as well, which we visited Silver Springs. We went over there and kayaked that and had a wonderful, oh, wonderful yeah. time. Um, we actually went on three separate float trips while we were here. Yes. Yeah. We went on uh, the Santa Fe River, the Itchituckney River, and we also kayaked Silver Springs. And there was a couple of other spots I wanted to do as well, but we just simply ran out of time. We ran out of time. With everything else that we were doing. But it just serves as a wonderful hub 
you know, this particular campground serves as a great hub to go visit these, you know, take several day trips to go visit these different places in the area. And uh, we are definitely coming back, that's for sure. And they do yeah. have kayaks for rent, <laughs> mm -hmm. and they do offer a shuttle service. So mm -hmm. basically you put in at the north entrance and float down to wherever you and, and there at the uh, office agreed to have them pick you up. Then they pick you up, and you don't have you don't have to paddle upstream like we did on one river. Yeah, on one river we we put in and paddled all by ourselves, and we paddled upstream as far as we could on the Santa Fe, and then we turned around and came back down. But uh, we enjoyed that trip though, yes. and it was really good exercise too. But so but we anyway. highly, highly, highly recommend this campground uh, if you're yeah. looking for a place that's kind of laid back, close to other things to do. Nothing fancy. It's not fancy, but you're also not jammed in here right next to That's each right. other. That's right. And we do need to visit, talk about the cabins a little bit more okay. in case someone wanted to rent the cabin. Because <clears throat> I did get a chance to shoot some video of the inside of one, and, and you're probably seeing that now. But the one that I uh, shot the video of had two full-size beds in it. Had uh, had a chair and, a, and two chairs and a table in one corner and a couple of uh, wooden rocker chairs in the other end, if I remember correctly. Just a pretty much basic little cabin. Uh, they don't have a bathroom inside, but most of the cabins, because the uh, the uh, bathhouse is centrally located, you know, it's an easy walk over to the bathhouse if you need to go use those facilities there. But uh, the cabins are really nice. They're nice and clean and everything. Uh, and here again, like we say. The real reason to come here, of course, is for all the other things that you can do in the area, which of course is float the Itchituckney River at Itchituckney State Park. Uh, maybe want to float the Santa Fe, maybe want to take a day and run down to uh, Silver Springs, take a day and run over to St. Augustine, take a day and run over to uh, Payne's <clears throat> Prairie. Yeah, Payne's Prairie Preserve, which is another cool place to visit. Uh, Olino State Park. It's full of history there at Olino State Park. Highly recommend you visit that while you're here. Manatee Springs. Yes, Manatee <laughs> Springs State Park, which is uh, uh, an hour due south of there. Uh, we visited Manatee Springs State Park, and that's where we saw our first manatee was right, right there. Right, right. And what's neat about Manatee Springs State Park is you can walk on this boardwalk all the way out to, uh, to the Sewanee River from the beginning of the spring all the way out to the Sewanee River and you have piers that you can walk out along along the way there um, and if you just sit there and just be calm for a little bit all of a sudden you'll hear this swish in the water or a snorting sound and you look out there and there's a manatee oh right and we there. didn't even mention scuba diving if no. you're a scuba diver this oh, yeah. is a huge mecca for scuba diving yeah. into these springs yeah, yeah. um you there know, are certain there's requirements rules. yeah yes. there's certain rules and requirements <laughs> if you want to do that sort of thing <laughs> Um, but I believe there at the Itchituckney State Park, there's the blue hole there that you can go uh, diving there. Yes. Uh, you can go diving at Manatee Springs, and I'm sure there's some others uh, as well. But the other one, Gilchrist. Gilchrist Blue Hole? Yes. Yeah, you know, Gilchrist Blue Hole State Park, which is very, very, really close to here. It's like maybe 20 minutes away, 20, 25 As, as you can tell, we didn't touch everything that we wanted no. to say. We didn't. No. Anywhere near get to doing yeah. everything that we wanted to do while staying here. But so this there's nothing to be bored about. No, sure. nothing at all. <laughs> but this campground, we cannot stress this enough, yes. folks. If you're looking for a really neat place to go and spend some time, whether it be summer or winter, but we were here from uh, what just sometime in January, January through, 8th. through March the seventh yes. is when we were here, <laughs> and March the ninth, March the ninth is when we were because well, I wasn't going to correct you over that. You weren't. Uh -uh. You always correct me. You, you you were gonna let that one go. Yeah, I was gonna let that one go. <sighs> okay. Choose your battles, ladies. <laughs> oh, here we go again. But anyway, uh, no, March through March the ninth, which is tomorrow when we pull out. Yes. But uh, we have thoroughly enjoyed our stay. We highly recommend this campground. Uh, we're not gonna quote prices. We'll let the folks do that uh, uh, for you. But we will tell you this, they have a, uh, a discounted weekly rate and they have a whole lot better discounted monthly rate as well. And of course we ended up with the monthly rate here and the monthly rate is competitive with what we pay when we stay at a Corps of Engineer campground with our senior pass. Woo! If that'll give you any idea of how reasonable it is here. Plus we have the added benefit of having sewer at the site. 
how we got quite spoiled. Yeah, we have been spoiled, that's for sure. But that's all I have. I, I don't know what else to say. Do you? No, it's just a wonderful campground. Come visit it if you can. We highly yeah. recommend it. It's a Tuckney family canoe and campground. Folks, come and visit the area. Uh, the, the staff is awesome, and you will come away so happy that you uh, came to visit this place. Right, and we'll put place. a link in the description. Of course, there'll be a link in the description to the campground, and the there will be also a link in the very first comment in the comment thread. We will pin that comment, so it'll be the first comment you see when you go into the comments. So it's easy to find how to get in touch with these folks. Yes. And tell them that Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures recommended this campground. Yeah. I'm sure we would appreciate that and they would appreciate that. But I don't have anything else to say right now. I think that's it. We'll see you all again soon. This is Bill and Deb with I Ride Tiny House Adventures and we always say this and always will. We're not camping. We're living. You folks get out there and do some living as well. We'll see you again soon. Bye-bye now.